No, 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 no. Ah, damn it. Very beautiful morning. Sun is shining, the sky is blue, as you can see. So this week I've got to put another coat on this one. This ceiling, ceiling, this roof. Um, that should be exciting. So by the end of the week we should have this this roof all painted and done. Maybe Christina can paint it. We'll see. Uh, and then down here. And we've obviously got to put some finish on these steps. But uh, that's going to be exciting to see that change. Obviously, I've got to work on the door. I've definitely got to do that. In here, I want to get this sorted out here, this area. We're going to cut this metal out, reframe it all, and put some plasterboard in there. Uh, it's going to have a spotlight in there, maybe a, a wood bottom. Or well, I do have a bit of stone that I might see if I can cut and get in there to match these window sills, which would be quite nice. Got to concentrate on this area, get this area sorted. Got plumbing to go by behind there. It'd be nice to run the pipes in there down into the kitchen and to whatever outlets we have here. Um, in the bathroom, that would be wonderful. Uh, this bedroom just needs tidying. Andrew has, looks like he's been sanding down in here, but it's looking fantastic. This really is a tougher area to work in. And he's been beavering away. It's a, it's almost a thankless task. It's so tedious. It's unbelievable. Um, but he's done a great job. Uh, just got to carry on, persevere. Oh, I need to just finish the bit I started there. Just put another coat of joint compound on there, smooth that out. And then on to electricery. Uh, yeah, I still got to sort that out. But once we get this area here done in the bathroom, I can run the wires in here. So that's gonna be one step forward. I think, I think that's everything. Got a busy week. So we'll see how it goes. And again, it'd be nice to tidy up, have a clear up. So we're gonna have a good clear up in here and get some order, but we still got a few little patches to sand and repair. We've got to go out and get a door so we know what we're building here. This is something we, we need to do fairly quickly because uh, we don't want to construct something until we have the exact door that we want. So we need to go and choose that. So, busy week, and uh, I'll show you as we go. My tools are always split between two homes. At least, uh, or two houses, at least I can uh, easily go and get them, but it's quite irritating to have to keep going backwards and forwards when you need something. Let's have a quick look, see what Christine is doing.
Looking good, looking good. She snuck up on me. <laughs> there we go, lens is clean. Why is this? Did you say you're gonna put this? Yeah, up? Oh, thank you very much. Huh? Thank you very much. Yeah, it'd be nice to get that up, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, so there we go. That's all boxed in now. We've got a nice stone top or shelf. It's a nice little feature. Uh, let that dry and then give it another coat uh, and then sand it all down and happy days. Got a spotlight that's going to go there, so that's good. So, yeah, not... Not bad, it's a little bit fiddly, but we got there. We got there. Christina's out here doing uh, a bit with her tongue out. <laughs> Just cleaning this up, getting ready to paint this. She's done the door and then we can put that all back on. Yeah. <laughs> I came and gave James a push as he finished what he was doing. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna put that damn wire up yeah cool. it's rubbish hmm beg your pardon it's rubbish yeah but there's nothing you can do with that before you rendered you should have put it in the wall. No, you, you can't. can't. Okay. Otherwise they can't destroy your house. Right, we won't tighten these up just yet. Oh my days, what a fiddly pain in the ass job. That's over there. What do you need? Oh, I need somebody to do it for me. <laughs> That's no attitude to have, Mr. C. Yeah, I know. 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 I just don't. I feel like I need about three pairs of hands. If I had that, if I was an octopus, it'd be happy days. Who was that? I said the good news is the render is staying on the wall. <laughs> Well, I can tell you it looks a lot better than it did. Much, much better. Looks straight. Yeah. Oi, oi. Oi, oi, Savloi. What have I got to say? Magnificent. Marvel Arvelos. Definitely. What are we doing? We're doing water run. Water run. Oh. Yeah, we, we get our water from a, a natural spring, which was recommended to us. So everybody uses it here. So uh, I guess it's uh, good to go. But oy, beats paying. Uh, Money, isn't it? Yeah. 
Well, yeah. Because uh, water seems so, well, it's not expensive, but it's... Yeah, but I don't really like that. No, I don't like it. Water. It actually tastes a bit chlorine-y, if you ask yeah. me. But we've been drinking this uh, water, and it's very good. Anyway. Windscreen is filthy. Huh? Windscreen is filthy. Windscreen is filthy? Yeah. <clears throat> well, what can I say? No, no, what can you say? You didn't clean it. <laughs> it's your side that's filthy by the looks of it. It's where you sneeze all over <laughs> the window and spit everything out. What do you mean? I've been driving the last week. It's definitely not me. job done. Oh, look at the dust in here. That's you, you just sat down. You just opened your purse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at it. I can't see. Well, you can't see it, but I can see it. Like, yeah. There you go. There you go. Right, let's go. So we take the water from the spring. And we stick it in the uh, Berkey. Other brands available. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, that's enough. Uh, and we let it filter through. And we have lovely water. I mean, we can't drink this direct. Yeah, but we're used to the taste of the Berkey, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. That's the water run done, and uh, where's the top? Huh? Oh yeah. <coughs> we cool. need to get the water tested in the well. Yeah. You'll probably find that's uh, uh, pretty damn good as well. Cool. But anyway, yeah, that's the water run. Okay, so it's Tuesday. We have this box done, which is very good. We got the wire up finally, as you saw, and that is now waiting for a second coat of uh, compound, joint compound. And um, I've been to the plumbing shop to get some plumbing stuff because I'm, today I'm attempting to uh, go through this hole and try and connect to the mains of water the other side which in itself is a little bit of a challenge, but we'll see how that goes. Um, that'd be nice, and we've got a new meter coming, uh, possibly in the next couple of days, so I've got to get that done. Um, just an explanation of this wall here. Some of you may be aware that the concrete pillar is here, and might be wondering why we went all the way here, from here. Well, my side of the story, or my view of it, is that the toilet's going there, and it's quite nice if you're sitting on the toilet there, then you, you've you got a full wall. Um, and from here, when you're looking in, it kind of, if the door is open or ajar, it's blocking the view of the toilet. So that's the reason behind that. That's my theory, and I'm sticking with it. Um, right, so I've got to get on. I've got to make some mess and see what I can achieve today. Oh, this is actually gonna be a little bit tricky. I wonder if we can see in there. Oh, dear me. Yeah, this is not gonna be a good day. Okay, so what I've discovered is that the the end that I wanted to get to, let me show you quickly. I gotta to get to this hole. Uh, and I was hoping there was a void here, which there is there, but then it then it just turns into again turns into rock. So I was hoping to try and get through there. I don't think I've got enough room. So when they put the new meter in, they, they put this here 
so we can gauge the distances we've got. Yeah, this is not, not a good, yeah. Okay, so what I think I need to do is I've got to get a hole through here, straight to it. So I found the top of the box through the hole. I've measured uh, it to this wall here so that we can um, gauge where the top of the box is. And now I'm going to measure that way, come down 22 centimeters and that's where my hole is. I'm going to try and get to the side of it and see what happens. Um, fingers crossed, it will be okay. Go home and look at my plumbing. Ginger's working on that there, which is rather exciting. It'd be nice to see that up. Oh, what happened? Yes, that <coughs> stopped peeling off. So I guess what I've got to do is put a primer on it and then use that paint. Yeah, just paint it. Because as I start spraying it, look. It just comes in chunks. I thought that paint had a primer in it. Was a... Spray. Obviously not. Well, this never happened to me before. I've done aluminium before with spray. So, uh, yeah. Is it all right on here? Well... It feels all right. It seems okay. Yeah. Oh, dear. The things that yeah, test us. That's all I needed today. Oh, well. Keeps you busy. Yeah. You're catching the sun. Huh? You're catching the sun. How are you catching the sun inside? It's a nice <laughs> breeze here. Oh, it's the breeze, is yes. it? Yeah. The breeze is catching Christina. Giving, the breeze inside the pavilion is giving Christina a suntan. <laughs> right, I came to get my plumbing box. See you later. Here we go, that grey bit is the back of the box. So hopefully I'll be able to work from there. Uh, I've been here in a pavilion working on this project. Uh, just finished for now. So let's see what uh, James is up to. He's not clearing this mess, that's for sure. Oh, it's beautiful out there. And I've been locked in all day. Anyway. James? Oh. Hello. Hiya. What are you doing? I've just finished in there. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd be lovely. What are you doing? Editing? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, pass me your cup. Thank cool. you very much. Thank you very much. Look at this. This is quite incredible. That's uh, we only just start seeing this now because the sun is going round. That's the reflection of my window. That's cool, isn't it? It's quite cool. The the colours are all coming up. <laughs> all right. It's in a bit. That just uh, made me think. So, he's editing. Uh, it takes him hours to do that. Uh, it's kind of a thank, um, thankless task, should I say. It's hours and hours of videoing and then he has to edit. Uh, so if you guys enjoy our videos, subscribe. It kind of uh, helps us. We get great enthusiasm and motivation with your uh, comments and thumbs up. So subscribe is free and uh, it does help us on the way let's make this cup of tea wednesday morning and i managed to get this pipe through that was a pain in the ass but had to be done so now I've just got to connect that side and then hopefully the guys will come in and put our new meter in. Um, uh, and then work out where we're going with the plumbing here. 
knock this hole here out again. I'm going to have to fill that in. Uh, yeah, I was hoping to get through there, but like I said yesterday, I've had to go through there. It was just too difficult. Okay, let me explain what I'm doing. I'm building a frame for the cupboard wall. I can't come off this wall here. Here. Well, can't come off this main wall because it's wavy but cavey and I need to, um, I need to construct a, a wall here so that the door comes off this wall. If it comes off this wall, it's too much of a problem. Plus, it gives me a chance to put this box, which holds the, uh, the manifold that goes in there and then feeds off to numerous places in the house for water. But I want that in the wall there, and uh, it's easier to construct this, this frame wall. This gives us a nice square for when we put the door here. Um, as much as it's a little bit of a pain, it's a lot easier doing this than it is trying to get that into the wall and then trying to get this wall good to support the framing for the door. So this will be a cupboard like this, uh, which will house the water tank and like the hot water tank. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, I think. We are now at this stage. I put this box in, which is going to hold the manifold uh, to feed the water off to different places, as I said earlier. So that's in, I've uh, screwed it in, and I've also put some expanding foam behind it. Um, built that frame up there and moved that one over there. And I won't do anything here until we get the meter in and they've connected the other end just to make sure that it lines up. I don't want to seal those pipes in just yet in case they've got to wiggle them about. So we'll wait until they, they turn up. Not sure if I mentioned, but that trench there is for the water supply to the toilet. It's Thursday. I'll wig those pants up, darling. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Andrew's been working on the uh, railing. It's looking very good. Nice, isn't it? Nice, nice feature. Nice to touch. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, what are we doing today? <laughs> what are we doing today? Plumbing. Plumbing. The kitchen. Plum diddy dum dum. We're gonna run some wires. Right, follow me. Here we go. Okay, so a bit of plasterboard there was just supporting that uh, box because I put some spray foam behind it as well. Didn't want it to lift out as we had that trouble with the electric box. That is also screwed in, but uh, there's always a little bit of movement. Uh, that framework there is for the wall. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to be a cupboard here, which I've already explained. So today we're going to carry on with piping. We've got to run pipe to the hot water. There's uh, water to uh, the sink. Where are we here? The sink, the shower, and then we've got to run the plumbing down to the kitchen. Down to the kitchen. And you need to put the pipe for the toilet. Oh, and the pipe for the toilet. Uh, we need to take that toilet out of the box and just gauge where that pipe comes up. Yeah. Make sure we're right there. So and we're going to have to do 
cut him to the wall? Um, huh? For the toilet water. Do you need to cut him? Well, ideally we do, don't we? Because mm. you don't want the pipe down at the bottom. <laughs> I'm sure you, you get your head <laughs> around it. No, it's, yeah, you're right, we do. Uh, anything else? Bom dia. Tá, parece que é um palácio. Parece um palácio. Vai andando, hein? Hum. Gosta? Hum. Agora é só acabar as paredes. Hoje estamos a tratar da canalização. Hum. Tratar das paredes e depois do chão. Hum. Bom, eu vou para, para o campo. Vai para o campo? Um bom dia, seu Costa. <risos> The neighbor, he says he look, he's starting to look like a palace. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they remember what it looked like before. Yes. You work me like a dog. <laughs> okay. This is all rather awkward because we're in the cupboard hole. In the in a hole trying to bend pipe without creasing the pipe and that's what that metal thing is sitting there. It means you can bend this pipe without creasing it. Yeah. Go on then, carry on. As you were. Nice strawberries. So, um, oh, we just had um, a couple of our subscribers popping by to see us, and they brought us all this. Some um, nice strawberries and oranges. Thank you, Bill and Lorraine. It was great to meet you, and thanks for the fruit. What makes me laugh about that is that Christina had to explain what that and that was. <laughs> well, I forgot to say local fruit. Yeah. Which is really nice. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Productive day. Got the plumbing, the pipes in place all the way around. So that's good. Um, what else did we do? And we fit the covers outside. Yeah. Covers outside. Cover. The vents. The vents cover the cupboard. Andrew's good. done this. It's looking really good. Looks really nice. It's just got to be cemented in place, but that looks fantastic. Looks brilliant. Yeah, so it doesn't feel like we've achieved much today, but in general, it's very fiddly doing this pipe work, uh, but we got it all in place. So next stage is to know exactly where we're teeing off for the water supply and things like that. What we got for dinner? I don't know. <laughs> oh. I'm sure I can... Master up dry bread and biscuits. Yes. Good. Right, until tomorrow. Yeah. Friday morning. I'm gonna block this in. So the sun's going down and I wanna put another coat on this roof while it's cool. Um, it's just too hot during the day, so I'm gonna quickly do that. And that will be me done for the day. Had a bad 
not a bad day but we've been to the shops trying to get materials and uh, it's quite frustrating when you can't get what you want so we're carrying on uh, up here and tomorrow's a new day you're doing extra hours tonight aren't you <laughs> <laughs> huh? yeah. so you can't see it but uh, maybe you can if I go down here yeah there's a few little wrinkles in this from when I did it the other day it was it was all right when I started but then it got really warm and too hot for it and so it created a little bit of a wavy floor so what I'm trying to do is iron out the wrinkles and the the waviness of it uh, just giving it a a skim over filling up the deeper parts and then tomorrow I set it again and if I feel like I've got to do it one more time I will um, I do like it to be as flat as humanly possible um, so that was my error because the sun came out and I wasn't expecting it to be so hot but that's why I've waited until now which is beautiful actually the sun is going down yeah it's beautiful Anyway, I've got to get on, otherwise it'll be dark, and then I'll have to do it all again. Yeah. Hopefully that's it. Um, like I said, I'll have a look in the morning and see where we are from there. Right, I've got to clear up, got to go home, got to do something else at home. Saturday morning. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. Uh, right, Andrew's done the first coat of paint on the garage doors, looking very good. And that down there is looking painted. That's all I can say about that. I think we're going to have to correct that. No fault with Andrews. It's, uh, it's the door. It's painted brilliant, but it's looking a bit pants. We've got dents. Yeah, didn't look like that before, but we'll see. Um, and what else? So, he's also done this secured in the railing which is fantastic that's a brilliant job that just looks so good i'm really happy with that just brilliant brilliant and then uh up here let's have a look what we did last night and uh see moving on uh right now that's not quite what i was expecting it's very white what's going on here Oh no. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> What's happened? Oh, it's a disaster. I've totally, totally messed up on this roof. Um, in my wisdom last night of uh, trying to get a top coat on while it was cooler, I mixed up the bags of products that I was using. And I thought it was a little bit strange when I was putting it on, but I wasn't thinking, but I've realized I have put a filler on the roof, a sandable filler on the roof where I should have been putting a waterproof membrane. And now I've got to scrape this all off looks good though eh? it looks good it filled up all the gaps <laughs> but it's uh, gonna be mama's job i've really messed up this is an absolute disaster i have to clean it all off we've got to get it off the problem we've got is that the weather's getting really hot uh hence why i wanted to get it done before we got into baking the sunshine and uh yeah i've, I've messed up I wasn't supervised by my wife. I was left alone to do stuff. Well, these <laughs> things happen, but uh, it's just added a lot of work now that 
not fun. Uh, we, we, the only thing I can think of doing is uh, getting off anything that's thick. It can scrape off and then jet wash it. Get rid of all the... Absolutely blast it off because it is... Oh, I don't know, even that. The problem I've got is if I don't get it off, when we put the paint on top, it's going to, once we get into the 40 degrees, I don't think the paint will adhere to this. It will bubble. Yeah. As well, we let's start scraping. Yeah, I'm really disappointed. Really yeah. disappointed. Created quite a <laughs> disaster. I don't even know how I... I it looks good, but it uh, has to all be clean. And now with the blazing sun. And that's too hot up here. I mean, we'll just cook it. Yeah, but let's do it where it's oh. shady. And uh, you can't let it get to you. Onwards and upwards. <laughs>